aces for the cannon. Throws him away. What? Oh, you lied. Of course I lied. It's wow. poker, Phil. It's a king. king. <laughs> I mean, how can I even play in this game? It's like I just get cheated. I mean, hand after hand after hand. King five, king, trip kings for Harlow. Russ has crushed this flop. Helmuth checks. Russ should bet here to try to get some value. He doesn't have a lot of chips or a lot of time. He's probably doing everything he can to not jump out of his seat. One reason why playing on the internet's better. He bets 20,000. How much have left? 45,000 total. 45 total, gets them all in. Phil puts Harlow all in. No chance he's folding. I think he's just taking a moment to soak it all in. And Russ calls. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> that's the way it's been going for me. That's sick. That's, so, that's the worst. I think he just got over 100. He will if his hand holds up. He's folding. I was like, oh, well, that, that's probably a call. That is the worst. Phil is drawing virtually dead. I just got over 100. He just has to dodge two more hands and come back to mine. That's so sick. <laughs> I'm glad I, I hit it the five. What are you flush. thinking? <laughs> are you thinking backdoor flush? What do you mean, what am I thinking? He has to move in, right? I mean, he. he, he... Oh, I, don't, I mean, you can't move in unless he has a hand. I mean. Well, how much? 10, 20, 30, 40, 40, what do you mean, what am I thinking? What the I mean, well, I got in. Uh, there's 30,000 in there or whatever. I mean, I, I'm playing no matter what. I have to give him a chance to bluff off his money. That's the only reason I check. Phil can only hit running aces or running hearts. You want insurance here? <laughs> so brutal. What a day. There's <laughs> some way we can insure. The guy folded so many hands, just waited, and then Phil Holmes just doubles him up. You know, no problem. Is there like. Betting five, and you could just bet five and and fold. <laughs> you could put 45 in. <laughs> Rush is picturing driving his kids around in that new minivan. The turn. It's a six, and Russ has a profit. Why would he bet 20,000? It doesn't make any sense. If he had a king, why would he bet 20,000? Because he knows his opponent will ship it with ace high, you know? That was that was deep level <laughs> kid, you know? <laughs> high tech. 46, he, yeah, he's over now, right? I don't know, I was just... Yeah. He's got like 110. He's got like 110. I needed that. <laughs> well done. Well done, man. That was so sick. Lock. Sixes. Raises to 2,000. Kata. Out. Mercier. Pocket pair. Even though there's only 40 hands to go, Mercier bought in for a quarter mil to make sure he can cover the biggest stack at the table. He calls. Aces for the cannon. <laughs> uh, still aces. You can't make this stuff up. Whoa. Let's see if he makes the raise. He's thinking of set pedaling, boys. <laughs> nice call, Locke. He's thinking. Throws him away. What? What was that one? It's over. Action's over. Two to the flop. Six kings, six quads for lock. I can't believe it, Vance. <laughs> David Fishman folds aces. Would have been out flopped by quads. If this happened in a movie, I would say it's too unrealistic. Lock bets 3,300. Welcome to the game, Jason Mercier. Who quickly calls. That flop will look pretty innocuous to Mercier. The turn. Jack of spades. Lock checks. Lock's checking for deception. There's a chance the paint may give Jason more of a reason to get away from this on the river. Mercier checks. Deuce on the river. Lock's trying to decide how big a value bet Jason will call. 10,400. Not quite an over bet, but a big bet. He's giving Jason the chance to put him on a bluff. Mercier calls. Ah, yeah. That's a sigh of relief. Oh, well. I almost raised. Wow. Just kidding. 
Fishman puts his head down so he can let all the bullets fly by. It would be wrong to bet the turn, and I could go for a little check call on the turn. That's why I lay down pocket jacks. Did you really or no? What was it? I wouldn't necessarily pocket be aces. Bad no. Was it really? You had aces free flop? <laughs> no way. I'd love to he see that. He didn't think forever and had this weird look. <laughs> it's like, what? Sorry. It's the first time he's tanked. That's the first time really? They, they can't make fun of me now for laying down pocket aces free would... flop. Oh, look at this one. That's oh, me and you. Okay, I got to raise yeah, it. No. 1,200. I was called predictable. I have many things. So if you re-raise, then you build the pot so big, and then you're going to get bluffed out in a big pot. Oh, boy. Vanessa's got pocket rockets. Uh, I'd say it's the perfect time to listen to Tony and re-raise. <laughs> Just call it. Better. Keep the pots low. Exactly. I bet 2,000. Yeah. That's fair, you know. I, I, thought, I think it's better than betting in the dark. Tony bets in the dark and flops two pair. A dark race, that, that's hard in commitment to the game. OM Tony G. Karma has left the building. I think we're about to see two people committed to this pot. Vanessa raises to 5,000. I want to raise it again. Tony re raises to 20 grand. You can get it all in. Tony G. sounding very confident. You ready? <laughs> Tony G is capable of this song and dance, whether he's strong or bluffing. Vanessa is going to have a hard time getting away from this one. You ready? If you win the hand, you keep me quiet. <laughs> <laughs> Don't believe you. That bluff I'll call. That bluff I'll call. Tony just added unspeakable equity to this pot. Vanessa calls. Tony's bombed the flop, which may make Vanessa think he's on a draw. An ace on the turn. Russo has top set. Hello, nasty. As Tony G would say, ace from space, and Vanessa has gone from zero to hero. Tony G does have a flush draw. 10,000. And bets 10,000. You could shut me right up. How? Well, by taking, <laughs> being, being all in on winning the pot. Punch in the face. Can I just push a button? <laughs> that ace dramatically improves Vanessa's hand, but if she put Tony on spades, he just got there. She just calls. On spade watch. I check. Tony checks in the dark. The river, a sick card, the five of hearts. <laughs> now you've got to show some, some guts. <laughs> Can you bet this or you're going to make a really weak check now on, on the end? Go on, Vanessa, you can do it. For Vanessa, best card ever, full house over full house. All in. Cool. Ace is full. Wow, very nice. That's the best. Very nice. You got screwed? I got a full house, too, on the end. Wow. And a flush draw. See, that shut me up. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Vanessa. Vanessa doubles through. I got lucky, obviously. Not really. I mean, it's... Uh... We took turns getting lucky. I got lucky to get the aces. You got lucky on the flop. I got lucky on the turn. <laughs> I haven't won one hand when I've, like, I've been good. So. <laughs> it's consistent. But if you, if you really had 5-6, that's super unlucky. Of course I had 5-6. That's really unlucky. Barry re-raises to six grand. Pocket kings for Daniel. Hmm. I'd expect to see a four bet here, typically. Nope, just calls. Was that just for TV time, or you really Yeah, got... <laughs> just for TV time. You got that tough hand. I was confused. I have a very good hand. Yeah, I bet you do. Doral's not getting the right odds, but he is in position. And calls. I think by not raising, Daniel was hoping to not chase everyone out, but now he's got to play kings against two opponents. The flop, queen deuce tray, top pair for Barry. This is exactly the kind of flop Daniel wanted. Greenstein fires 10 grand. Barry and Doyle both have a piece, and Barry's piece is big enough to lose him a lot of money. Daniel just calls. And Doyle calls with middle pair. Even with a piece of this flop, that's a pretty loose call from Doyle. Unless you get trips on the turn. Barry checks. Barry's now got the nut flush draw. Daniel will have no idea someone hit this three. This is fun. Right off the bat, I have no idea what to do. He knows with this many players along for the ride, his kings are very susceptible. I check. Daniel checks. I don't know if Doyle used instinct, intuition, or got incredibly lucky, but he has both of these guys in bad shape. Barry and Daniel were checking to trap. They are in trouble. 
Doyle bets 21,000. Something tells me Barry doesn't like this bet, but in this spot, he's going to have the best hand a fair percentage of the time. And with the nut flush draw, he's even less likely to be drawing dead. Barry, a little hesitation move, but he calls. Daniel can't really like that bet either or the call from Barry. He's right to think about this hand, but I don't see how he could get away from it, even if his spidey sense is going off. Like Barry, he's just not going to be beat very often in this spot. Having to make this decision is one of the pitfalls of slow playing big pairs pre-flop. Daniel calls. The river. Four of diamonds giving Barry a flush. Barry called the turn hoping to hit a diamond. Let's see if he still likes it. All in. He does. Barry's all in. Those are pretty much the kings of comedy at this point. Daniel folds. Oh, that's a card I didn't want to see. I don't really see Barry making this play without a flush or a full house. I call it. Doyle calls and sees the bad news. You turn a three to a? If I raised the flop, I would have lost the whole thing. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't going anywhere. No, I had you. You had me beat? Uh -huh. Gee. Jack seven of diamonds. Vanessa may be steaming a bit after that last hand. Looks like she's getting right back on the horse. Raises to 1,300 as Fondiari quickly out. Spirit rockets for Prahlad Friedman. By the way, when I start calling Prahlad parlay in front of you guys, it's because I've been doing it for five years. He parlayed 50 bucks into 50,000 one weekend. And then that 50,000 is now what? Seven, <laughs> I don't know, 40 million 7. or something? 7.2 million or something? <laughs> but I was like, what what's it like to have 7.2 million? Well, I would not know. It's gotta be more than 7.2. Right, million. it's more than 7.2. Prahlad's very likely to be adding to that 7.2 now. Vanessa's starting to look a little defiant. Two of the greatest poker minds. I know, I like watching right? stuff and I not being in the hand. Spirit and Vanessa battles. Antonio may be driving the action a bit with his mouth. Vanessa knows her own reputation, so she knows Prahlad could be three-betting her light, thinking she's raising light, which she is. And if that's the case, she could get into some real trouble here. Four-bet to 13,200 with the jack high. So typically, a Vanessa Selps four-bet is going to start to get some credibility, which means if Prahlad thinks she's got some kind of hand, he'll easily put in a fifth bet. Another thing to consider, if Prahlad wants to continue to have Vanessa think he's bluffing, he's more likely to raise again than he is to just call. It is five bets to 35,000. Is it 30? 35. All right, well, this looks like a pretty easy fold for Vanessa. But she hasn't dumped her cards yet. Joe, what in the world could she be thinking about here? Well, she might be a little steamy from that last hand still, and is probably leveling herself with thoughts that Prahlad is just messing with her. Now it looks like she wants to see how many chips Prahlad has left. If she levels herself into thinking Prahlad is messing with her, this is going to be a disaster. She should be folding any second now. Hot. She puts in six bets with Jack High. The oh boy. 106 $106,200 is now the bet. This is an absolute punt. Let's count the hang time. All right, I'm all in. Prahlad is all in. It is a mistake. I call. Vanessa calls. Okay. Aces for Prahlad. No, no, no. He's got aces. Yeah, I know, I know. I'll bet you he's got aces. Run it? He has aces. It's like 100%. Of course. She has ace, king, or kings? Nope, I have nothing. Uh. Twice? Whatever you want. Let's do three times. Sure. Nice hand. She has live cards. Oh boy. How much do you have? Uh, one, He's got you covered, 60, I think. 60, So they're going to run it three times. Almost spoke to win. Couldn't do it. How many times do you guys say you're running? Three. Three times. Nice hand. I'm going to leave if I don't. I think I speak for Vanessa when I say, <laughs> Even worse, some of Vanessa's outs have been folded, so she's a bigger dog than she thinks. First of three runs coming up. Winner will get a third of the pot. King, four, five. That's not good. She'll need runner, runner. Six of diamonds. Six of diamonds. Don't waste it. 
Six of diamonds would be, would that be the best card? Six yeah, of diamonds right. would give her straight and flush draws. God. To the turn. Nine of hearts. All right. Put a deuce of clubs. Oh, ace of clubs is good. I think Prahlad knows the time for speeches is over. River, ten of hearts, and Prahlad has locked up a third of the pot worth over 113K. I'm such a Why do I do this to myself? Every time. Not every time. I usually don't do this to myself anymore. What are you laughing at? I'm not laughing. I'm just, you know. Pretty sure he was laughing. Here comes the second of three runs. Eight king, five, two diamonds, flush draw for Vanessa. It's already a diamond over there. <laughs> there it is. That's the spirit show the other diamonds. That you, yeah, how six hard of diamonds would definitely be more useful here than it was in the last one. Vanessa only needs one more diamond. Turn five of hearts. Wow, Prowlad is strong. How did he dodge it there? Missing the flush draw would be devastating. She's not likely to flop this good again. To the river. No diamond, three of clubs. What a brick. Brick ball. Super brick. Bricktastic. So Prahlad is two thirds of the way to scooping the biggest pot ever won on the big game. What an absolute gift from Vanessa. No Jackson sevens. Run number three. Four, six, king, three more bricks. This is getting hard to watch. Not even a sweat. Vanessa's dead to two pair trips or a straight, all of them runner runner or else Prahlad's gonna need a wheelbarrow to bring all his money home. To the turn. Deuce of spades. Nice hand. And Prahlad's gonna win a pot worth over $340,000. Wow, Prahlad did it, that's sick. All right, I'm out of here. Nice playing with you, Vanessa. Nice playing with you. Good playing with you, Vanessa. Oh. Why not win one of them? Vanessa's gonna hit the rail, and with that, Prahlad Freeman has the biggest scoop in the history of the big game. Enjoy. Helmuth raises. King, queen for Fishman. I don't win very many pots from this spot, so. <laughs> in a fit of discipline. Wow. Fishman calls, Perkins is out. Williams. An absolute fit. Calls. David Williams in real bad shape with a real loose defend. Maybe a little tilty from that last hand. Deuce, jack, ace, two clubs, action flop. This looks like a fun board. Williams checks bottom pair, Helmuth checks top pair, Fishman leads out with a semi-bluff, Williams folds, Helmuth raises. This is a pretty easy call with a flush draw, gut shot, and two big cards. And there it is by Fishman. Five of hearts on the turn gives Helmuth two pair, he bets 15 grand. We know Fishman isn't getting great immediate odds since his pairs are still no good, but PH could be doing this with worse flush draws, and he's got enough behind for decent implied odds. Add it all up and Fishman makes the call. He's looking for a club or a 10. The river, there's the 10 completing the straight. Fishman swims the upstream battle and runs down the great one. Action on Helmuth. 23,600. Bets 23,6. 23,600 to a $45,000 pot. This is pretty dirty. Fishman's reverse peddling the nuts. Clearly, he's going to raise. The only question is how much, and can he get Phil to call? I'm not going to let you do this to me again, Phil. I can't let you do this to me again. Leonardo DiCaprio could not be selling this any better. I'm all in. Fishman shoves. He even fake hesitated. Watch that Oscar, I'm Leo. I'm done. I'm done, Phil. I see method acting, improv, pantomime. If Phil calls here, the kid stays in the picture. This is so sick. I mean, I just, I just, do I just, is it possible that I just get cooled every hand I play here? You got king, queen of clubs? I mean, I guess so. Phil's put him on his exact hand, but if he does make this call, the loose cannon will have a profit of more than 140,000 and will be poised to take down that NAPT passport. God, all that talking leads me to believe him. Wow. Now that might be real. I'd certainly be shaking either way. All right, I call. Helmuth calls and sees king, queen of clubs. Bingo! See, see, if a club comes, I don't lose one nickel in the sand. What a pot for Fishman. I mean, 10, three, eight, nine, eight, 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 seven, six, 
can I even play in this game? I mean, what the f they find, all, I mean, what the f I mean, how can I even play in this game? It's like I just get cheated. I mean, hand after hand after hand. Don't blame Blaine the dealer. We all know it's the seat that's unlucky. Give the amateur an offsuit town. I don't lose one nickel if he hits a club. It's, it's unreal. Where are these cards coming from? Ace nine offsuit for the newly reformed Phil Helmuth. Still thinking about making a move here. I raised the pot. A raise to 12,600. The loose cannon. Six, right? Ooh, pair of cowboys. If there's ever a time to re raise, this is it. 12.6. Yep. Call. But just a call. We have some cannon action over here. Ernest just called 12,000 cold. Should be sending smoke signals into the sky. Wow, started something. He may be trying to set a trap by just calling, but by not re-raising, Ernest giving Doyle and Tony both better odds to call behind him. Well, you can see Doyle's stack, just 50 grand right now. He's looking at 20% of his stack to call. I know Tony's going to call it, so I might as well too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love these big pots. It's a very loose call from Doyle. Tony calls. Wow, what a sick hand this is. <laughs> Four ways. I'm not even going anyway. Next pot, so it's like a free roll for me. It's the danger of smooth calling with Kings. Ernest has let three other players into this pot. The flop 9 10 9 trip nines for Helmuth. Phil has flopped the Helmuth out of it. Our loose cannon Ernest is in big trouble if he can't get away from this. And honestly, Chris, I don't see how he'll be able to. Tony G has checked on over to Phil Helmuth. That flop looks like you, doesn't it? No, Phil, I look like me. <laughs> Ernest very confident. 17,000. Phil bets 17,000. If you look like me, why you bet so much? Ernest is actually asking the right question, but isn't looking for an answer. Wow. All I can see are those two kings. Thirty-six thousand. I love you, Ernest. I try to gamble. I just can't. Doyle folds. I was folds. gonna write. I'm so sick. Tony G's out. <laughs> wow. This is almost certainly disaster for our loose cannon. Two hundred thousand. What are you gonna do if I move in? Are you gonna call? Phil, of course I have no choice but to, my brother. <laughs> you got aces or kings or something or what? Man, if I had aces or kings, man, I'd be the man right now, wouldn't I? <laughs> <laughs> this best. is why this show's so fun. You're the best. Boy, oh boy, I don't think I have a choice here. This is so sick. All right, I guess I'm all in. I call. Kings. I got three nines. You lie, I'd be kidding me. Okay, that's what I thought. Yeah, yeah. What on. were you slow rolling him for? Here, man. Maybe a 10 slow. Oh, I mean, he, he just he was so happy. That was so unreal. That was torture. I didn't mean to slow that's roll. Sick. Hold on. How, how many times do you want to deal it? Oh, hey, thanks for asking me. Three um, times? Yeah, that's Huh? Three times? Yeah, run it three. Three times. Three times. Three times. Three yeah, times. that'll work. You might win one of those three. T, where is mine? Wow, and times? you straddled and everything. That was perfect. You made it so much before the flop with Ace-9. Our loose cannon has one foot out the door. Yeah. You want to deal it four times? When you ask him you're going to call if I go all in and he said yes, what percentage of you didn't believe that he was given the straight dope there with that little bit left? Wasn't it what like a little a bit left? He had 50 left. Like the worst slow, that's one that of the worst slow rolls I've seen in slow roll. No, that's not. When you know he's gonna call because he says it. You know, and Phil Locke, why don't you why don't you just stay out of uh, why don't you stay out of it? Because I'm right because, here. Because I, because, I because you are you've been so far out of line to okay. me, and every time we've played, and I'm just sick of it. So why don't you just you mind your business? Twelve thousand six hundred. But he's right. Nine. It was a pretty sick slow roll. I'm sorry, because I haven't done anything like that in my whole life. Were you folding? I can't get away from this. The whole speech. The guy's already in. He's already got eighty percent. Doyle, you're the. He had fifty thousand more. Did he have fifty thousand more? You want? I'll bet he had at least forty thousand more. He put in thirty-six thousand. I'll bet he had forty, 40, 000. 000. 40, 000. 40, 000. 40, 000. 40 more before you count and look. Seventy-four, seventy-four, three hundred. How can you ever have that beat? You want to deal it four times or what? Four times. Yeah. It gives you a better chance hey, to win. Yeah, sure do. Cool. Run him out, baby. All right, four, four times. times. 
Mm -mm -mm. Four times, need two kings. Wow, that's about Three a 50. Spade, 50. spade, clean jack. Hey, runner jack. Spade, spade, yeah, runner, yeah. runner, runner. So we'll see the turn in river four times with each pot worth a shade under 50 grand. Run number one, a jack of hearts. Queen, king. yeah, queen, queen king. king. The river, an ace of diamonds, yeah, round one yeah, goes to Hellmuth. Phil Hellmuth has filled up and made a full house. He's locked up at least 25% of this pot. Run two. The turn, a king. There we go. Yeah. Full house. That's what I'm talking about, you're baby. Get me there. If you ran it twice, you Get got money back. Damn. Yeah. Oh, damn, I said four times, though. Damn, yeah. didn't I? Holy yeah. snap. I got to stand yeah. back up now. I thought it was only twice. Come on. The <laughs> river's a three. 15% dog. <laughs> Ernest has won the second on, pot. So that's cool. I'm feeling good right now. Well, you're I'm still alive. You're still alive. alive. That's what I'm saying. Our loose cannon yeah, will stick around. Money, Round three. A spade seven of spades. <laughs> Everybody's rooting for a spade. Everybody you can now hit a king or a spade to win this run. The river. It is a spade. God damn it. spade. Hey, up to one. That's a loose cannon. He's up two to one. Why did you go for four times? You went for. Hey, man, I'm just thinking of more house, man. It was almost. Oh, this is like slow roll. One more time. One more time. Put a king ball out there. <laughs> Ernest Wiggins has now won half the pot. Like, this is the thing right here. This is it right here, man. This is like the action right here. Right? Helmet loves it. Yeah, I really like it. <laughs> Come on, one more. King, king. The final run. Ernest's odds continue to get worse and worse, but Phil looks sick anyway. A queen on the turn. Jack, there's a jack. You want a jack, that would be sick. King or a jack? One time. There's, there's what? Three jacks left? Right now. The final river card. It's a king! king. Oh, that's <laughs> real! He had three out of four! He had three out of four! That's With the worst hand! <laughs> Why is everyone so happy except Phil? <laughs> Phil Helmuth, Ace Jack. A lot of money out there already, and it's unopened. All right, I open for the pot. Pot's it. And you looked, right? Mm, well, I think I looked. Allegedly, I looked. Tony. I'm all in. Pot limit, brah. Without looking? Without looking. Pretty sure he looked. Well, you can't be all in. 66. Tony repots it with <laughs> Ace King. All right, all right. He slowed down. <laughs> he slowed down a bit. Are you going to save the rest? Not if he believes you haven't looked. Helmuth now facing a raise and an angle shot. Oh, it's hard to believe that you always have a hand against me. Look, you, you, you could say the flop and get rid of it as well. Right? You could play good. Without looking too? I'm not looking. I haven't looked. I don't care. I know it's a random hand, and I don't got a random hand. Wow, all that talking makes me think he's strong. I was for sure going to call before that. 15 on top, Tony. He's saying he hasn't looked, though. He most certainly looked. Did no one see him? He's you saying he didn't look? Yeah, you wouldn't lie, Tony, would you? I wouldn't lie. You can there check you my hand if you want. You, you can tell him to You didn't look at either looked. card. I haven't looked. You promise? Ask Joe. Ask Joe. I mean, I haven't I looked. I can't say anything, but I'm not going to look. It's between you and Phil. He says he, haven't look he hasn't looked. Uh, I didn't Do see Do you believe it. him? Yeah. He said he hasn't looked. Only Joe looked. Did you look at your cards at all? I mean, it's... Look, the it... people at home, no, I haven't looked. Joe's well, looked at my hand. If you hand. haven't looked, it's kind of an easy decision for me here. We can run it 10 times as well. Well, if you haven't looked... I guess I'll just move in. Right. Phil ships and Tony calls. <laughs> All right, you're close. You're up there. Oh, you I'm lied. Wondering. Of course I lied. It's wow. poker, Phil. What do you think this is? That's, yeah. That's messed up. So messed up. <laughs> wow. What do you think, I'm blind? How many times do you want to run well, it? Well, I asked you if you had looked or not. Do you want to run it how many times? I'll let you choose, Tony. Three I times. Mean, Three I always times. lose, so. You kind of deserve to lose the first I one. I do deserve. I hope you win one. Why would you lie? I mean, no, it's, let's it's consider totally un, not uncool, man. I mean, it's not right. I, I feel it's just a game. That's etiquette, though. I mean, you never, you, you don't Phil, say you're blind. What happens on this table blind. in play is just a game. We tell whatever so, we want. So when do you tell the, the truth? All the rules of poker are just thrown out the window well, for you. Well, call the floor, man. If you think I, like I, my hand might be dead, then. That's horrible etiquette to say you didn't look at your hand and then, and you know, this bad, really bad etiquette. But What do you think? I'm a kid? Phil, 
We're talking about etiquette. I'm so a you're, you're the kind of guy that goes to the golf course, and when someone's playing you a big money match, you scream in the really? middle of their back swing. You think that's the same thing? Yes. I, I know it's the same, the same thing. thing. I don't Listen, think so. Listen, if you pulled all the We're top players. We're talking about the strength of our hand, and I'm that's selling just you. just about 100,000 if we pull the top 20 players. We'll ask about your etiquette. Or maybe we'll bet a quarter million. I can million. bet on myself, and I can be very happy just with, with my me. own. You know it's bad etiquette. Phil, this is a poker you know TV show. You know it's bad etiquette. This is a poker TV show. Well, don't show. argue with me, then. You don't try to make excuses and lie. You come in as the best player taking me on. You no, come in my don't house. don't lie. And I'm destroying you. You know it's bad etiquette. every part of the game. You don't say you haven't looked at your cards when you haven't looked at your cards. You don't do that. OK. Well, it's like a rule of poker. It's like it's, well, it's horrible etiquette. Because I thought you hadn't looked at your cards. Oh, come on, Phil. Well, so if you want 25000 to spend, you can have it. You have to pay attention to the dealing? game, Phil. If you're a professional player, you would pay attention to me looking at my hand. Tony, well, not look, you pay attention. If this is the way you want to win, you can win this one. I haven't done anything illegal. I looked at my hand. Everyone no, saw it. When you flop straights and you say, I have a flush girl. Right, you're ha, a policeman. Ha, 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 Could you make a comment? <laughs> <laughs> We're doing it three okay, times. Okay, how many times? Three times? Three times. I admit that my you deserve etiquette to lose is the first terrible. One again. I do. So you, you know, for that. Karmically, he deserves to lose all three. What a villain. I drink your milkshake. <laughs> so they're going to run it three times with the winner of each run taking a third of the pot. Flop. King, nine tray. Tony pairs his king. Phil drawing nearly dead. How happy are you now that it's not running once? If you ran it 11 times, you know you'd win like four. Phil taking the high road. I'm gonna run 11 times. I drink it up! Turns a jack. Coming That's back. bad for me. I need that jack on the next round. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's really bad well, for Unless me. you get one now. Yeah, unless but I get one now. won't get any more, win any more. Terrible card for Phil. One less jack he can hit on the next run. Give him the jack. River, ace of diamonds. That's kind of fair. Let's even out the deck a bit. All right, so that's one down for Tony G. Daniel Negreanu is our first alternate. He'll take Phil's seat if he busts and decides not to reload. Phil's been felted four times on the show, only reloaded once. You know, Phil, I, like for me, I just want to undersell my hand. I don't know if the way I do it any way I can because it's a heads up pot. That's me. I'm sorry that that's You just me. admitted it was I'm bad etiquette. You want to retract? You I'm sorry if I bullied you. I'm sorry. It's not, I don't want to bully you. I'm it's sorry. Not, I feel bad. Look, no problem. Nice hand, man. I mean, you know, you showed your true colors, which is bad for you here. Here comes flop number two. Seven, five, ten. No help to Phil. That's not you really, you, I don't think you're the kind of guy that wants to show your true colors all the time. Well, it's just you, some, your true colors can't escape you. You are who you are, Phil. Yeah. I'm sorry. That's the way I am. Turn number two. Ace of clubs. Phil's not even holding a club, so no flush draw can save him. He's looking for one of the two remaining jacks. River, another five, and Tony G takes the second run. Don't rush. Don't rush. We want to keep you in. This is just agonizing to watch. I want you to have a win. I want you to come back. Come back and show your fans that you're a great player. Captain Hook doesn't really want to kill Peter Pan. <laughs> Flop number three. Queen, queen, king, and Phil picks up some outs. Ooh, now he needs a 10 and backdoor spades. Well, that's actually better. There's four 10s. There was only three jacks. Well, it's not bad. It's not bad. Like, the 10's out as well. Even if Phil hits the 10, Tony can still make a full house. Something, I mean, and then a backdoor flush. No space gone. That's fast. I have a good feeling about this one, but, but the math is just so strong against how can I get there? Now you'll get there. How can I get there? You will, you will. It's just too. Everyone wants too you to get there. Turn, seven, no help to fill. Okay, the last ten. Three tens, you, want, you can take insurance too. Yet another needle from Tony. Our final river, Phil's gonna need a ten. It's a jack. Whoa, you got there! That's not cool. No, he didn't. No. Sorry. <laughs> I was just joking, Phil. <laughs> Did you believe me again? Was no, that bad etiquette too? So, Tony, <laughs> so look, you're loaning me 50000 right? Yeah. Okay, look, I, I don't accept it. Okay, no problem. But good game, man. All right, I'm sorry, Phil. I really am. I'm sorry. I think you should retire. I think it's over. I think you, you're not there anymore, Phil. Somebody comes out. Good with you. All right, thanks. I think, I think you should take your coach. Go. Get a tandem bike and get the hell out of here. Hmm. This is awful. What Tony's doing is horrific. I think it's bike time. You know it. Take, Good game, everybody. take your man right, and you boys start driving the bike like this. You guys are outclassed. You don't belong in this level, Phil. Can you believe he lied about his hand? Yeah, Have you that, ever that. seen that in a high limit game in your life? Tell it's, the extreme, truth. it's extremely strong because it's something you would never do. Money. 
You have you ever have sure. you ever seen no, someone I've lie never, about I, their hand when they say they're no, in the blind no, ever in your life? Tell no, the truth. No, I never. It's horrible etiquette. That's how he has to beat me lying about stuff. I mean, he's crossed a lot of lines. That's the worst one ever. <laughs>